<clears throat> okay, so here is a bacteriophage, uh, sometimes just called a phage. Now, a bacteriophage is a virus that infects bacteria. So here we have this um, green, right here, cell wall. This is the cell wall of the bacteria. Now the blue part is our bacteriophage, and inside, as you can see here, inside the phage is where the DNA is located, and that DNA will be injected into the bacteria, and then will either enter into the lytic life cycle or the lysogenic life cycle of the bacteria. Um, so when we see here, for example, we have two, um, we have two uh, life cycles that the DNA can take place, the lysogenic or the lytic life cycles. Uh, sometimes certain kinds of phage uh, DNA or virus DNA can exist in the lysogenic life cycle and then enter in to the lytic life cycle later on um, in its life. So what happens, so up here at start we have our, our bacteriophage. Now, um, the bacteriophage is going to in, um, infect the bacteria. So here, uh, next, we can see that we have um, the virus DNA is now inside of the bacteria. Now we have um, two options. If we uh, enter into the lysogenic cycle, what's happening is that bacteria D I mean, sorry, sorry, that virus DNA is now part of the um, bacterial DNA. And as the bacteria reproduce by binary fission, which we can see here, they're reproducing um, and replicating, every daughter uh, bacteria that's made will also include the virus DNA. So you could potentially end up with a whole colony of bacteria with the viral DNA from the initial bacteriophage. Now, let's say that um, there's some kind of environmental stress or something that causes the bacteria um, to enter into the, or causes the virus DNA to cause the bacteria to enter into the lytic life cycle. What happens here is the uh, phage injects the DNA into the cell and now the bacteria has bacterial DNA here in blue, but also the viral DNA. Um, now that viral DNA will uh, basically hijack the bacteria and use the bacteria's ribosomes and nucleotides and amino acids, et cetera, et cetera, to um, build the parts of the virus. Now a virus is made out of a protein and then um, genetic material, either DNA or RNA. So in this case, let's use DNA as the example. So here, in this cell, we have the, um, the virus is being replicated using the machinery of that bacterial host cell, till eventually all of this cell is full of bacteriophages that we can see here, and then the cell is going to burst open, or lice, and that's where the name lytic comes from, and then these viruses are released. These viruses are released where they can go and infect other bacteria cells and maybe start the cycle all over again.